In this video, we are going to talk specifically on how to find horizontal asymptotes. So I'm basically doing a series of videos on rational functions. A rational number is a number that can be written as a fraction. And you know how most of you all feel about fractions for whatever reason, you don't like them, you fear them. And so it is important to kind of dissect rational functions into bite-sized pieces so that you can understand what's happening. So this video is all on how to find horizontal asymptotes. So an asymptote is a line that the graph approaches but never crosses or touches. And in this particular case, in order for us to find a horizontal asymptote when we are given an equation, is that we're going to look at the degrees of the numerator and the denominator. By degree, we are referring to the highest power, okay, the largest exponent. And so we're going to look at that largest exponent and that is going to be the degree. So we are going to take the degree of the numerator and compare it to the degree of the denominator. And when you compare two numbers, only three things can happen. Either the top is bigger, the top is smaller, or top and bottom are the same. And when I say top is bigger, I mean the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, but that's kind of a mouthful. So to make it easier for you to remember, I just teach my students top is bigger, top is smaller, top and bottom are the same. So three things can happen. If the top is smaller, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, automatically the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. So if the top is smaller, automatically, the horizontal asymptote is that y is equal to zero. So that's one of the things that can happen. The second thing that can happen is that the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. And in this case, there is no horizontal asymptote. So when the top is bigger, we have no horizontal asymptote. We're gonna hold off talking about slant asymptote for one minute. Let's just go ahead and kind of finish this thought process of top is bigger, top is smaller, and top and bottom are the same. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then there is a horizontal asymptote and it is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients. So if top and bottom are the same, then the horizontal asymptote is that y equals the leading coefficients. So this is how we're going to find horizontal asymptotes. Let's talk a little bit about a slant asymptote, which I'm gonna show you again on its own separate video to not confuse you. I only have a slant asymptote when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator by exactly one. Let me give you an example. Let's say f of x is equal to x squared plus one over x minus four. The degree is the highest power. So right now in the numerator, the degree is two. In the denominator, I see an x, but I don't see an exponent. So automatically the exponent is one. So notice the top is bigger than the bottom. So there is no horizontal asymptote, but because the top is bigger than the bottom by exactly one, then there is a slant asymptote. If instead the function says f of x is equal to x cubed plus seven over x minus six, the degree of the numerator is three. The degree of the denominator, since I see an x and there's no number there, is a one. So the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator. Top is bigger, but the top is not bigger by exactly one because we have three and we have one. The difference between those two degrees is two. Therefore, there is no horizontal asymptote and there is no slant asymptote. Let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. For the functions listed, identify the horizontal or slant asymptote. All right, so for part A, we have g of x equals 6x cubed minus 10x over 2x cubed plus 5x squared. In order for us to determine horizontal asymptotes, you have to compare the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. Degree is largest power. In part A, the degree of the numerator is 3. The degree of the denominator is three. They are exactly the same. Therefore, I do have a horizontal asymptote and it's gonna be y equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. So y equals six over two, which we can just write as y equals three. And for asymptotes, you must always write y equals for horizontal asymptotes and x equals for vertical asymptotes because they are lines. If we take a look at part B for h of x, Notice that for h of x, the degree of the numerator is two. 
that's the largest power. The degree of the denominator is one because that's where I see an X that that's the power for X. Therefore, the top is bigger. This tells me that there is no horizontal asymptote, but because the top is bigger by exactly one, then yes, it is going to have a slant asymptote. And then finally, if I look at KX, then I'm going to check out the degree of the numerator. In this case, the degree of the numerator is two. The degree or largest power of the denominator is three. In this particular case, we have two over three, so top is smaller. When top is smaller, I do have a horizontal asymptote automatically. Y is equal to zero. So let's go through the rules one last time. In order for us to find a horizontal asymptote, you are going to compare the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. If the top is bigger than the bottom, if the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator, then there is no horizontal asymptote. There will be a slant asymptote only when the difference between the degree of the numerator to the denominator is exactly one. Okay, so if top is bigger, no horizontal asymptote. Top is bigger by exactly one, no horizontal asymptote, but there is a slant asymptote. Then, if the top is smaller, if the degree of the numerator is smaller, it's less than the degree of the denominator, automatically y equals zero. So top is smaller, y equals zero. Top and bottom are the same. If both the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator are exactly the same, then we have y is equal to the leading coefficients. Hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more help with math so that you can say, yes, I can do math with confidence. Until next time, thanks for watching.